welcome to Zamora Gaming Fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and I'm bringing you week two of the Final Battle League, and we are up against the Virginia Victini Wreck It Mike. And of course, as you can see, he has a very scary team, but we also have a scary team, so we should be able to over. over ugh, we should be able to overcome this obstacle, like I did not overcome that sentence. And we are going to go ahead and get this thing started. I think. The best thing to do is to lead. I'm going to lead Boo Boo Kittens. I mean, sorry, Boo Boo, Boo, Boo Keys. And uh, we're going to go from there. I'm expecting a Zapdos lead or an Iron Treads lead. Um, We have switch ins for both. If he goes Zapdos, we can set up a light screen. And reflect and then head out to Sandy Shocks. If he goes to Iron Treads, we can go straight to Franklin. And then we have investment to live two Earthquakes. One with Chocoberry, one without. But we'll see. Good luck, have fun. Wreck it, Mike. And let's get to it. Ooh, we got a nice background this time. So he sends out Soundwave, and that's, um, that's neither of the Pokemon I expected to lead. So he's going to come out swinging. And I am going to go ahead and light screen up. Because, I mean, at least we could lower this thing's attack. He's clearly going to go for a Quiver Dance, expecting us to switch. I kind of wish we had Thunder Wave now, but maybe he's Terra Electric, so... No, he's Terra Ground, so, you know, same difference. But Terra Ground is actually a really good Terra Typing. So we're going to go for the Light Screen. And let's see what he decides to do. Most likely the Quiver Dance. Oh, Fiery Dance. He went for damage and setup. So he must have the uh, Speed Boost. And he did not get the Special Attack Boost, so... We are going to go He's fast. He's really fast. So let's go into Man, I don't know what I want to go into. I think uh the best thing to do would be going to Trishula cuz Dapper Dan was one of our answers to this thing, but now that it's Terra Ground, it's not really the best thing because we're actually Terra Fire. So let's go Trishula here. We can get an attack boost from the Fiery Dance. And let's hope he doesn't get his boost. He doesn't. And we're just going to go for the Ice Shard. This should do massive damage to this thing if he stays in. And anything that does come in isn't going to want to take a hit. So, boom. Threat down. Ice Shard for the kill there. <laughs> Very good. Very good thing that we are able to do that. So, now what does he decide to go to? <laughs> Could go Vaporeon to take some physical hits. Um, we're clearly going to switch out from that. We go Zapdos, um, but that wouldn't make sense. Uh, Chin Pao could hit pretty hard. But then we just switch to Klefki and go for Reflect. Iron Treads could be dangerous. But then we go to Torkoal. So let's see what he decides to do here. I'm sure he wasn't expecting us to get screen and able to live the next hit. And then, of course, go down to Ice Shard. So, let's see here. So, whew! Max Caliber gets a kill this game, and, and other than getting destroyed last game. Chin Pao is in. Um, I'm not sure what he has that can hit us too hard? Um... I know that our defense gets lowered. But 
I wouldn't want to take a hit on anything else. So I'm going to actually just go for damage and go for Glaive Rush. We are plus one. Sacred Sword hits. Oh, that kills. I thought we were going to be able to live that. We can't. So I will just go into Boo Boo Keys. And I'm just going to get a Reflect Up. Oh, zoomed in pretty pretty close. So we're going to go for Reflect. Um, I think that's more important than trying to live a hit and getting a Draining Kiss off. I expect him to just go straight into Iron Treads or Vaporeon. I don't know why Vaporeon, honestly. Probably just Iron Treads. He can't get T-Waved like he might expect me to have since he brought a uh, Ground Volcarona. But I took my criticism from week one from uh, the, the coaches that were replaying and watching all of our battles on stream and i figured you know maybe a screen cleft key would come in handy so be sure to watch that uh fbl uh owners they they rewatched the games uh my game probably won't be on my side this week just because this battle is way behind but we shall see and he goes zap dose which is fine we just go straight into um Dapper Dan, and we brought Power Gym this week, something we should have had last week, it would have made it a lot easier, but you know, we haven't done too many Gen 9 battles, so we're, we're, we're just getting back into the swing of things, and if we get some advantage here, that'd be great, oh, he goes Heat Wave, oh, that does nothing, yeah, we are Assault Vested, um, I am going I'm going to go Power Gym. I'm not going to predict just yet because he could go to Iron Treads. And, oh, yep. Yeah. Mike sent out the Peloton. So I could have predicted there. I didn't want to show my, my play there just yet. And that is, yeah, that, that did not do anything. But we will go to Franklin here. And he's not banded, so we should we are going to be able to live two earthquakes, which is obviously what we want. He withdraws. What does he go to? Guzilla. Okay, Gudra. Nice play. So we are going to be able to go into our Torkoal for free. We're not going to take a hit yet, but we're clearly going to go right back out and probably go to Klefki. As our light screen wears off. I could go Stealth Rocks, but this thing's too big of an answer to um, Iron Treads. So we're just going to go Clef Key and just try to get up screens again. Depending on, you know, the move. Oh, Sludge Bomb. So we're not yet, we're not even affected by that. And I can easily go for a Draining Kiss. Ooh, faster. So yeah, Sun Boosted, Flamethrower, we're down. But now, we can go into Leviathan. Uh, yeah, let's go into Leviathan and Draco Meteor. Nothing's going to want to take a Draco Meteor. Photosynthesis. Our special attack is heightened. And Draco Meteor. Drop a Draco. Try to get a kill on something. If he goes Iron Treads, that'll drop his health dramatically. I'm sure he's not going to go Chin Pal. Uh, Zapdos could take a hit and then Roost. But we shall see. I think we're doing good so far. As long as we keep on the pressure. Maybe we get a win. Leviathan goes for Draco Meteor. And down goes Guzilla. 
So, oh, crit. I don't know if that mattered. If it was Assault Vest, maybe. Which it definitely could have been. But we were plus one in the sun. Well, I guess sun doesn't matter. But we were plus one. So, and this thing has a monstrous attack stat. Special attack stat, so. Another threat out of the way. Gujra goes down. All right, let's see what he decides to send here. If he goes Chen Pao, we're obviously switching uh, Iron Treads. We stay in and use our Hydro Steam or whatever it's called. Uh, one that one hundred times victorious. We just go into. We just go into Dapper Dan. We go into Dapper Dan. Our screens are gone for the match. We got to keep that in mind. We still have our sun. Special attack was heightened. Yep. Nice double switch. Now the question is, are we faster than... Iron Treads. I wish I had Calcs ready, but I do not. Uh, Iron Treads. Versus Sandy Shocks. No booster energy. Yeah, well, we are... Uh, I don't know if we ran Timid this week or Modest. Okay, we got 30 seconds. Okay, we're Timid. Oh, we're still slower. So I'm going to have to switch into Torkoal. And we're going to have to take this hit. Because I don't think Iron Treads... Yeah, Iron Tread. I mean, sorry. Sandy Shock does not live an Earthquake. So, we take that beautifully. As the uh, Calcs predicted. And then we go for Lava Plume. Because we can live another one. So back into Zapdos. Lava Plume goes off. No burn. 30% chance and we didn't get the burn. Um, I'm going to hope he stays in. I'm going to go back to Dapper Dan. So our answer every time. Heat wave. Oh, that did a lot more. All right. I think we make our prediction now. Because Terra Blast is going to hurt either way. So this is what we're doing. Terra Blast. Terra Blast fire. He's not making the quick assumption to go to Iron Treads. And I don't know if we kill Zapdos, but it'd be nice because we are plus one special attack. We should be faster. We're one point faster than uh, max speed Zapdos. So it stays in. And we get our tear off. So now we reveal that we are Terra Fire. And Terra Blast is going to hurt. Oh yeah, we kill. Alright, Zapdos is down. So now we are... We have three more Pokemon to worry about. Ooh, and I like the Chandelure just spinning on my head. Ooh. Sandy Shock is fancy. We got a spinning Chandelure. I wonder how many other Pokemon do that. <laughs> That's interesting. 
Um, but yeah, Iron Treads just revenge kills us here. And then we go into Torkoal and Lava Plume. Uh, I wonder how much turns of sun we have left, actually. Because that could change our strategy. Uh, why do I do this to myself? Um, we have one more turn of sun. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in and terror blast. Yeah, we 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 die, we die. Let's see if how much speed investment he actually has in this thing. Because if he doesn't have full speed investment, we cannot speed. Yep, max speed. Or at least fast enough to beat us in speed. All right. So sun should go away now. Now we can go into Torkoal. And we just got Lava Plume. I don't see anything wanting to take a Lava Plume. Let's see. He still has Vaporeon. And I will go... I'm going to go Lava Plume. He goes Stealth Rock. All right. That's cool. So Peloton goes down to Torkoal. And I'm sure he goes uh, Vaporeon here. Sodden. And then we click Stealth Rocks of our own. Ooh, that's not good. That's actually a problem. Because this thing's going to be tanky now. Um, I got to go into... I have to go into Leviathan. And I need to weaken this thing. Should have had Solar Beam instead of Stealth Rocks. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine the plays. Alright, so our special attack gets heightened. So now he's technically just plus one versus us. But you know, that's not going to stay forever. And he's immune to water. I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go Draco Meteor here. He'll probably go Wish. Yeah. Calm Mind Vaporeon. Not the set I was thinking. But... You know, let's see if we can get some good damage here. Ooh, not enough. So now we are technically minus one. And yep, he goes for the wish. Hmm. How do we get around this thing? Um... On the Protect, I'm assuming that's going to happen. I'm going to go to Bo Peep. And we have Psy Shot. Let's see if that's enough. Calm Mind once again. Going to go back to being very healthy. Sunlight has faded. Which works out, I guess. Oh, I guess for them. Because that's going to make their water attacks a little more powerful. I'm going to go for Psy Shot. And hopefully that's a two-hit KO. Not even close. Oh my goodness. Sword power. That's going to hurt. Yep. Super effective. I should have won Destiny Bond. I didn't expect the sword power. <laughs> and I think we lose the sword power of Vaporia. Oh no. The detrimental things that are happening to us right now. That was the worst case scenario. I 
I know I don't like RNG, but we kind of need a crit. Uh, Draco Meteor! Man, we already got a crit earlier, so... <laughs> Doubt it happens twice in one battle. Yeah, no. He's got this in lock. Sword power sweeps us. GG to Mike. What a set. I did not expect the Calm Mind on this thing. And I was going to have Roar on a Pokemon, and I just didn't think this would be an issue. But that's why Mike is a great battler. GG Mike. And we are now 0-2 in the FBL. We got to make a comeback. We got to start turning it around week three. So let's see if uh, we'll be able to get a win against Cynthia next week. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.